I've said this before and I'll say it again as far as getting packed for a flight with your toddler or your baby for that matter, there are essentially five categories of items that you want to remember to bring on the plane with you. So grab a notebook and a pen or make a note on your phone. If you can remember just these five categories, you'll be all set on your next trip. My name is Brittany. I've been on about 50 flights with my now two-year-old son and my hope is that I can just make this whole thing easier for you. Category number one is butt stuff meaning diapers, wipes, butt cream, hand sanitizer, maybe a changing mat, and doggy poo bags. The amount of diapers you're gonna wanna pack for your travel day is gonna depend on the age of your child and maybe what stage of potty training they're at, but plan on about one or two diapers per every two hour of travel. Factor in your car ride, any other you know airport time, not just the, the hours of the flight. The poo bags are multi-purpose. You can throw your baby or your toddler's poopy diaper in them so they don't stink up the airplane bathroom or I love to use them at my seat on the airplane to collect all of the inevitable huge amount of trash that my toddler creates. Carrying some Ziploc bags is also really good for this. When packing, I personally like to just dump everything I plan on bringing in one place so that I can visually see everything in front of me before I start packing it in my bag. If there's anything that needs to wait until the last minute to get packed, like something that needs to be refrigerated, for example, or like something that needs to be charged, I will forget these items unless I write a note to myself like maybe on a sticky note or something and stick that to the door, the door that I'm going to go out to catch my flight. If I don't do this, there's a big possibility that I will forget those items in my mom brain travel fog. Finally, in the butt category, I'm gonna add an extra pair of clothes here as well. Especially for a potty training toddler, you need to bring an extra pair of clothes for them and bring an extra outfit for you as well. This can be an outfit that just scrunches up small, like leggings and a t-shirt and some socks. Make sure you have that in your carry-on to just in case um, your toddler has some kind of accident on you. Category number two is mouth stuff, meaning snacks and beverages. So these days for beverages, I always have my toddler's water bottle with us. I used to always pack his milk with us as well. If this is a stage that you're still in, make sure you check out my video on toddler milk. I'll link it up here. In the US, you're allowed to bring liquids in excess amount for your baby or toddler. You just have to let TSA know right away when you walk up to the security. Also let them know if you have any milk that can't be opened, such as shelf stable milk. I don't personally really have any rules about what my son eats on travel days. Travel days are all about survival in this family. I like to pack a ton of snacks that I know for sure he's going to eat and then maybe a couple of extra novel new snacks for him as well. I like to assume that we're not gonna be able to get what we want or need to get at the airport or on the airplane, just assume that we're not gonna be able to, like we won't have enough time or the airplane is not gonna have food that he wants to eat. I go in with that assumption and then I pack food for the travel day accordingly for him. In this way, I know that he is always happy as far as food and drinks on our travel day and at least in that regard, we never have any trouble. Unique snack containers are always a lot of fun too if you have any of these or you wanna try some out from Amazon. They can be a lot of fun, especially for younger toddlers, I find. Category number three, I call hand stuff. What I mean is to keep your toddler's hands busy and keep them happy and calm and entertained. So here are things that your toddler is gonna to love on the airplane. The safety card, the window shades, the screens on the back of the seats if your airplane has those. And they will also love your undivided attention. And those things are all great, but also this is what we pack in our carry-on for entertainment. These days, at two years old, we always bring his tablet with us. This never used to hold his attention until he was about two years old, really. And we only let him use it on travel days now, so it's especially exciting and interesting to him. We also bring coloring books and crayons, stickers, sticker books, small toys that we know he likes, like his little cars or his little dinosaurs. We bring Play-Doh and Silly Putty, but we closely supervise this because, as you know, these things can be quite messy. We like magnet toys for the airplane, even though you have to kind of let it go that you might lose one or two of them. If this is gonna be something that stresses you out, don't bring them. A lot of parents will say, don't bring a lot of toys with you, but I have found with my son, the opposite is true. He just really loves his toys. They have saved us in a lot of instances. And I do keep them as a last resort, so if we're at the airport, we find other things to play with, trying to keep the toys until he's forced into a contained space like on the airplane where we need them. 
and the same goes for the tablet. The tablet is kind of a last resort. Category number four is sleep stuff. There is nothing more amazing than getting your toddler to sleep on the plane, and this is something that luckily happens to us on almost every flight now, now that our toddler is no longer lap infant and gets his own seat. To ensure that this happens, we currently bring his blankie with us. If your child has a teddy bear or lovey or something like that, just don't lose it. I think I would rather lose my passport than lose my son's blankie, truly. We bring small books that aren't too heavy with us because reading stories is part of my son's bedtime routine, his toothbrush, toothpaste, because that's also part of his routine. Doing things that are part of the normal sleep routine can help inspire sleep, supposedly, and it's a good idea to do during your travel day. For long flights, we have this blow up foot rest thing. We've used it multiple times and it's been amazing. It basically extends the seat and makes the surface area bigger for him to sleep on. We also always pack a thin baby blanket, one of those thin baby muslin blankets and make like a canopy over his bed for him to block out some of the light. And this has worked pretty well for us on several flights, like long haul flights where we're trying to get him to sleep for a long time. Category number five is the important documents and electronics category for mom and it is why I always wear a pair of leggings that has side pockets on the airplane on my travel days. If you saw my other video where I talk about navigating the airport solo, I talk about why I always wear leggings like this and why I always wear my fanny pack and back, like why I have this specific setup for navigating the airport. A lot of that is because of the security of the important documents and electronics I want to bring. I always have to have everything that's most important to me pretty much attached to me the entire travel travel day because with a toddler, you never know. They could dart off in another direction and you might have to leave your bags behind to go running after them and you don't want to have anything that could get stolen that's super important not attached to you. So almost everything in number five can fit into my fanny pack or into my two side pockets of my leggings. And finally, I'm going to squeeze this one into category number five. You should plan on traveling with some kind of mini first aid kit. It's just a good idea. I have a whole video on like a, bringing a really robust first aid kit with you traveling. You can check that out here and also I'll, I'll link it down below. But at the very least, some band-aids and Tylenol. Good thing to have when you're traveling with a baby or a toddler. You can keep those in your fanny pack as well. As far as packing all of these, ideally I like to bring two bags with me. If I'm traveling by myself, it's just me and my toddler. I like to bring two bags, a backpack diaper bag, and then another small bag to put on my back. My fanny pack, I got the stroller, I've got our carrier, I've got my son, we're good to go. All right, everybody, happy adventuring. I'll see you in my next video.